of skating, I think my motivation was getting a pair of skates for Christmas. And Kenny's was seeing a professional ice show and all the excitement of it. And I was about seven years old, and I went down. We lived here in Downey, and I went down to the skating rink at the street. And Kenny and I were about eight or nine when they put us together in um, a number for the first time, and it was a Winter Wonderland fantasy number. And they put Kenny and I together as a pair of two in a quartet of snowflakes. All I can remember is we did a few spirals together. That's about all we yeah. did. I can't, you know, it was really hard to. But it was fun. I mean, all we did were these little recitals. We never worked on the compulsory figures or any of that part. We just learned about the show part of ice skating. And um, consequently, the skaters weren't too fantastic, but our costuming and our show ideas and, you know, the feeling we all had inside was really enthusiastic. So I think the shows were pretty good. And it was just for neighborhood people. The uh, skating school closed when we were about 10. And so uh, we went down to Paramount, where the Iceland Arena is. And we joined the Arctic Blades Figure Skating Club. And uh, that's what really started us doing competitive pairs. I said, why don't you keep going? Not too many people skate pairs. And uh, then we started taking from uh, John Nix, who was a world pair champion in 1953 with his sister. Yeah, well, I've been uh, associated with them in a training capacity for 10 years now. From the time they were 10 years old until now, as you know, they're 20. It's been a good relationship, or a changing one. At 10 years old, I told them to jump two feet, and they jumped two feet. Now I request a little more lift. <laughs> in the jumping, this sort of attitude. But they've been very good indeed, and uh, the very few problems that we've ever had over 10 years have been very easily resolved, and uh, I couldn't have wished for a better attitude from two competitors. I don't know, I guess being a world pair champion himself, and we were his only little pair for many, many years, because it seemed everyone wanted to do solo then. We were his only pair. I think he was sort of proud of us. And um, when I look back at pictures of us, we were so funny looking. Not that we've changed any, but um, he must have really had fun, I think, putting our programs together with these two funny little kids. 63, we were 11. This is when we started competing. It was, it was our first Pacific Coast Championship. And that was big time. <laughs> In the summer of 1966, Mr. Nix took about, oh, it must have been 30 of his kids, 25 or 30 of his students to Broadmoor, which is in Colorado Springs. And it, I think those summers in Broadmoor, we went for about four summers, were about the most productive months of our entire skating lives. We, get, we really developed, we really improved more at those summer sessions than any other time. So, in 1966, we were third in national junior pairs. And the only thing was that Kenny and I didn't have any lifts compared to the rest of the pairs. So my mom found the DeRay School of Dance up in Hollywood. And we went up there, and um, Harriet DeRay taught ballet, and she's fantastic. And she helped Kenny a lot, and we had stretching lessons. and. She would, we'd go, we dread going up there because she'd tear us apart and pull us and tell us how we had to go in here and out there and pull there and stretch there. And we'd come out feeling like we were half dead, but we really, you know, felt better for it somehow. And we improved through the years with their constant help. Al always taught us all our lifts. And, uh, if it wasn't for him, I don't know where we'd be today. You going to do some brandies? Okay. Yes. Al DeRay teaches everything under the sun. And until we went there, he'd never taught 
um, pairs before, but we sort of explained what our position was and what we wanted to learn. And Al got films, and he gradually, we, we both learned together. people who saw potential in us was definitely my mom and Kenny's parents. Yeah. And they're the people that we owe everything to because they've given us the time and the understanding and the love and all the little pushes along the way when you went so bad to quit. I had no relationship to ice skating at all. Um, I can't even stand up on him. <laughs> I can, I can skate around the rink, but that's it. He didn't look like too much when he started out, but he never wanted to give it up. He always enjoyed it. I think it was seven years old when his, his first ice skating show. As he progressed, each, each thing became prouder. <laughs> that's right, yeah. There are a lot of proud moments as he went along. Oh, I think the highlight unquestionably is when he won both senior pairs and senior men this year in Long Beach. He really reached his goal then because that's what he'd been aiming at all of his competitive career was to reach the top in both division. This is Kenny's first Olympic competition as a single skater. He was in the 60 year Olympics with JoJo in the pair skating. He said double left spin coming up. That's the second one in this program, second or third. This is the end of his five minute program. And at the end of this combination is a double axe and a very difficult jump at this time of the program, too. Mrs. Jabba, we really skated good, and I'm satisfied, even if we don't make the team. And he was so sincere and so cute. And then we looked up on this thing and we saw it, and I couldn't believe it. I was never so excited and thrilled that they made the Olympics. I couldn't believe it. It was uh, making the Olympic team was a goal we'd always worked and dreamed for. And then it was really happening, and it was like we were on a cloud the, the whole, the entire time from the time they announced us to the team to the time we flew to New York and got outfitted and we got luggage for the Olympic team and then we flew to France and the whole thing was like a, a big dream come true, like a fairy tale to us. For Wide World of Sports viewers in 1971, there was a very special moment at the World Championships in Lyon, France, when Jojo and Ken won the first of their two world bronze medals. We've seen throw axles earlier, Here's Dick Button and Jim do. McKay were there. And you know, although they were third, it was as if they had won the gold, because while the other winners stood on the platform, the crowd already was chanting, Jojo, Jojo, Jojo. She was at that moment the toast of France. We're back in Lyon, France, and that tremendous applause is for Kenny Shelley and Jojo Starbuck of the United States. They have taken third Rose, place in the Rose, bronze Starbuck. medal, but they got Jeanette the largest Shelley. applause by it far of any of the first three teams. Please welcome Jojo Starbuck and Ken Shelley.
And Dick, hasn't it been a pleasure to watch them skate together for 27 years? And particularly over those 27 years to see them grow so much as artists, to continue to grow, and that's very rare among skaters. They're extraordinary people. Not only are they performing here, but they had the responsibility of putting this whole evening together. They produced and directed the show here in the arena, and the skating community is very, very grateful to them. It takes a special chemistry for pair skaters to be successful. It's much more unusual for a pair's team to stay together through 13 years of amateur competition and then continue on for 12 more as professionals. The JoJo Starbuck and Ken Shelley have done exactly that. This year marks a very special celebration for them. Let's get one thing straight here. Everybody's talking about your 25th <laughs> anniversary skating together. How old were you when you started? We were seven years old. Everyone thinks that, oh, a couple together for 25 years won't make it around the rink once. But we were young, and that's what you have to start out as in skating. She is like my closest and dearest friend because we went through absolutely everything together as children and as young adults. We saw each other at our very lowest points, I think, and our very highest points. I'm so glad that I was a pair skater a lot of times because it's been so much fun being with Kenny and having all those experiences to share with someone, which a solo skater doesn't always have.